Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and we're on December 18. Yesterday we did December 17, which was uber exciting with that mini essential arches die set. Oh, love, love, love. As soon as I saw it, even while filming, I was like, ideas just came in like about four of them. So that's an out the gate winner right there. Here we are now on day 18. So let's see. On the 18th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ooh, more confetti. <laughs> so on day nine, we had the cream confetti. Now we have some sky blue love. Okay, crafters, this is a pretty sky blue or ocean blue color. I don't even have to go any further. It speaks for itself. Let's get started. Here is my December 18th card. And this is a 5 by 7 card, completely inspired by December 17th's card. Okay, let's talk about how this card influenced this card. It's a 5 by 7 shaker card. And there are my awesome blue ocean bits. Still have plenty to play with in my little shaky shake winter scene card. So let's talk about all that you're seeing here because it's a lot going on. I even pulled out some Spellbinder stamps and colored them up. I was absolutely inspired by a recent video I saw featuring some new alcohol markers. They're called Olo markers. Spellbinders actually carries them. I don't have any, but I was watching the video, watching the coloring, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't colored with my Copics in a while. If you have a lot of Copic markers, like I do, I've been collecting Copic markers for years. With the Olo markers, here's a little sidebar. They have some purples and some yellows that are not available in the Copic line of colors. And purple is my favorite color. So when I was watching the video, I was like, hmm... I may get myself some purples. Even though this is neat, it's not easy to achieve the right shades of purples. And I would like to have more range in the purples. So I'm thinking of the Olos. And the Olos, not a bad price point either. And the refills are not a bad price point from what I saw in the video. And you're supposed to get more ink out of it, which means less refills. And you can just buy a little refill and screw it on, something like that. Really nifty. And Spellbinders does carry it. So I'm thinking of treating myself to a pack of Olo markers. If I do, you'll see it here because I'll definitely talk about them, but the purples and the yellows from what they said is something that's not available in Copics. So you might want to add that to your stash. I will put a link for the Olo so you can check it out too. I was just really curious about it as I always get curious about stuff. <laughs> I did color up some images inspired by a different set of markers. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I'm talking about, I will list and link below. So let's start off with the background. This is featuring the new Holly Floral Swag. I think this released last month. This is a beautiful 3D embossing folder. As you can see, all that imagery, there's a little bow. There's the bow right there. And this open area, yesterday's hot foil swag and me watching that video with the Olo markers inspired this card. I remember that I had this embossing folder that I had not used yet and it has the same kind of shape just like this. That swag hot foil plate with the floral design. This now is like a winter design in a 3D embossing folder. This is an oversized embossing folder. Five and a half inch wide, eight and a half inch tall. I loved how it embossed so I decided to make it a five by seven card to get the maximum area out of this card shown here. Oh, it's just so pretty. Look at all that detail. You will use the universal plate system for this. If you have a new Spellbinders Platinum 6 or Platinum machine, it will come with the universal plate system in it. Those newer machines, okay? Holiday floral swag, inspired by yesterday's swag. <laughs> to cut out the swag, I took out postage edge circles. I have other circle dies, but it's just the dots. The dots get me. And the postage edge. This is like a two for one in terms of a die set. That's why I think I love it. And I love the sizing, how big it gets. Use this circle. And what I did, I cut out a five by seven sheet of this beautiful navy cardstock, put the circle on it, run it through my die cut machine. Then take this panel, put it in the 3D embossing folder and emboss after. Because if I had emboss this then cut it 
I would lose all this great embossed detail. Everything would start to flatten. And what's the point of having a 3D embossing folder if I'm going to make it a one-dimensional card? <laughs> Gotta keep that texture. Then I flipped it over. I put on some quarter-inch foam tape. My favorite foam My favorite foam tape actually is the Spellbinders exclusive quarter-inch foam tape. I believe this is in stock. It does sell out quickly, but this foam tape is so nice. It gives height, but not too much height. And so when you use your shaky bits in it, they have room to still play, even with beads. And I love that. Sprinkled some of the sequins bits on the inside, sealed it up. The paper that I used in the background, that's actually from the Winter Wonderland 6x6 paper pad. There is a whole collection with this, but I only used the paper from the paper pad. This little sheet here, it's a super cute paper pad. That looks like this, okay? 6x6. Six six. And that is the snowflake in the background and then i use the friendly snowman stamps these are photopolymer stamps and i colored up this little guy and that cute little guy oh so cute i did like a dark teal and some purples the snowman that's copic bg quadruple zero and triple zero with some colorless blender okay such a cute little stamp set. I did fussy cut it because there isn't a coordinating die for it, but it wasn't a bad fussy cut, as you can see. It looks pretty decent, like I used a die, right? Then I wanted a snow bank. So what I took out for that, I know, I was shopping my stash, you just don't know. I recently bought this in one of Spellbinders, I think it was the Thanksgiving sale or maybe the warehouse sale. Could have been the warehouse sale I bought this. Color block scenic shape. And this one creates those awesome slopes. That's an example of it. Creating scenes. I love scene building. I haven't done scene building. So for this, it's like the swag. I was inspired by this, which led to the embossing folder, which then once I had this cut out, I was like, oh, I'm making a scene with snow. Then I pulled out the stamp. Yeah, it went like that. <laughs> then I was like, well, the snowman need to stand on something. So I used one of these. I took out some glitter cardstock, ran it, then brought back out that circle die cut it and that's where i get the dot detail i popped up my little snowman on it and then i was like wait a second this thing still needs something so i had the center of these snowflakes and i took out the silver mixed gems pop them here on the acetate in the center so even if you can't see the shaky bits you can still see the snowflakes being accented by gems you see it the silver gems love and then i use the solid silver gems here so the sentiment Merry Christmas was inspired by these two sets that I showed that are currently on sale in the fire sale for like nothing. Like I think $6 each from $19.99 each. The Merry Birthdays and the Many Thanks. I have the whole set because I just think this is so awesome. I have the Many Merry Christmas here. I use the Merry Christmas. You stamp it. Cut it out. You can stamp and heat emboss, which is what I did, or just stamp it. And then I use the sentiment, enjoy the magic of the season on the inside. And I also took out some of the stars and stamped those as well. These two come with great sentiments to use on tags and such. See the sizing? This one is more of, you could use it on the outside with a strip or stamp it directly on the paper or on the inside. Love. Alrighty, crafters, I think that is it. From one little pack of confetti came this whole scene building snowman swag <laughs> thing. Absolutely inspired by Day 17's card with the swag and watching a video about some markers that I'm like, oh, I'm curious about these markers. Alrighty, crafters, so here is my Day 18 card all inspired by a swag. <laughs> okay, so until December 19th, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.